This is the demanded video from the subscriber where we are going to discuss about how to use BFD or bidirectional forwarding detection with first half redundancy protocol. Before going to the actual configuration, I would like to clear why we required BFD in first half redundancy protocol. So BFD can use for very fast gateway failure detection with efficiency. So suppose if we have a topology which is look like this, if we configured VRRP, so suppose this router or this gateway is working as a master and second one is a backup. If master goes down, backup may take by default 3 to 4 seconds in order to make this gateway as a master. So same thing going to be true with HSRP and GLBP. On HSRP and GLBP, they may take uh, 10 seconds by default, but we can tune it in millisecond. So if we using VRRP, GLBP or HSRP, we can send hello messages within 50 millisecond. So same thing we can configure on other device. So sending hello messages within 50 uh, millisecond. If we not getting uh, three hello messages from the neighbor, now we are going to consider other gateway is possibly down and let me actively forward traffic to the internet. So that is good, but what happen if we are going to configure multiple group on same interface for redundancy? So suppose if we are going to configure group 1, group 2 and group 3 on both devices, they are going to send uh, they're going to send uh, hello messages or update messages out every uh, every 50 millisecond from every instance. So instance number one, instance number two, or instance number three, or you can see the group number one, two, and three. So they're going to create unnecessary burden on your control plane. So because of that, we can use BFD. Using single BFD, we can attach that BFD to the multiple group for first half redundancy protocol. So let's say this is the topology where we are going to implement BFD using HSRP. So let me go through the configuration that makes sense. So I have a this router running iOS 15.0 on router as well as switches. Interface gig 0 slash 0 which is connected to the LAN. IP address going to be 1.1.1.1. 255.255.0 no shutdown and let's say standby version 2 and standby number uh, excuse me group number 1 and IP address going to be 1.1.1.254 so this is going to be the virtual IP address for standby group number 1 likewise on router 2 interface kick 0 slash 0 IP address going to be 1.1.2.255.255.255.0 no shut down standby version 2 standby group 1 and IP address is 1.1.1.254 so let's say currently your branch router is working as an active but if we looking for the default timer do so standby it going to send message out every 3 second. Hello message going to be uh, sent to the neighbor every 3 second and hold down timer or expire timer going to be 10 second. So same thing is true on this router. 3 second and 10 second but we can tune the timer into millisecond. So let's say for example standby group 1 and timer going to be in millisecond not in second. So suppose if we are looking for millisecond so let's say 15 millisecond and then hold down hold down uh, excuse me hold down timer is again in millisecond which is 50 let's say so three time if we are not getting three hello message within uh, 15 millisecond we are going to consider neighbor is no longer available or no longer active. But if we are going to use with multiple group, so you may have a group 1, group 2, group 3, 
then it going to create a burden on your control plan uh, control plane because of that we can use bfd for faster convergence with efficiency or a faster gateway failure detection with efficiency so let me configure bfd on interface bfd interval going to be 50 second 50 millisecond minimum transmission 50 and going to multiply by 3 so this bfd going to use with every group so same thing i need to configure with uh, other gateway so now we can verify whether we do have a adjacency so let's say do so bfd excuse me bfd neighbor adjacency and as we can see branch router is form neighbor adjacency with 1.1.1.2 likewise uh do so bfd neighbor adjacency to the hq router so they are active now and now we can attach them with hsrp so let's say stand by excuse me stand by and then after bfd so stand by bfd that is all likewise on other device or other gateway stand by bfd now it automatically going to be attach out every group which is you created so let verify whether we using bfd with first half redundancy protocol as hsrp so stand by and we can see here bfd is enabled so now we, we we are no longer going to use the hello messages since we have a vfd configured on both devices so do so stand by so as we can see bfd is enabled so as soon as the gateway or device going to be down other device going to take over about the role which is arp request excuse me responding arp and actively forwarding traffic to the internet so this is the motto of this video where we can use excuse me where we can use bfd using uh, first half redundancy protocol as a hsrp